In this video, we're going to look at how to generate barcodes or QR codes from a mail merge. So why would you want to do that? Um, maybe you'd want to have a barcode for their competitor ID uh, or their attendee ID. So you just want this to become a barcode that you can scan. Maybe you want to be able to validate the information that's on their name badge. And so we can see if it's a valid thing. For example, you can have um, their name, their school, and their ID. And if you wanted to have like a secret ID that that's, they don't know what this number is, but we have a list that says Ed Trang is a person or has the uh, three letter code R-A-W. And then Chris has the three letter code, um, I don't know, cat. And Jason has the three letter code pot you can encode some secret data so that we can validate for example that they have a valid registration just by scanning their um, code and they wouldn't know what that randomly assigned value is so they couldn't duplicate their name badge um, or let's say like in the case of the conference that we're actually developing this for they are going to have an app and each attendee is going to have a profile. And so if you walk up to someone and scan their QR code, it'll give you the link to their profile in the conference app, and you can find out their contact information or whatever they're putting in their profile. So those are four use cases for why we, you would want to use this. And so let's go into a merge document. This is going to be just like any other mail merge. So you can see there, let's delete that and start over. We're gonna go to mailings, start a mail merge. Let's do labels and let's do a standard Avery name badge, 5395. So normally, you know, we would come in here, insert merge field, first name, last name. Let's update labels, preview. So all it's doing is it's putting in those fields, first name and last name. But in actuality, each one of these fields is a more detailed code for Word. And so if you come in here and you toggle this field code, you'll say what it's actually saying is this is a merge field for first name. So here, underneath this, let's put in that first barcode. So let's try to generate a QR code for that profile. Now if we update and preview, that doesn't do us any good, it's just the text of that thing, but we want the QR code. And so what we're gonna go is right click this and toggle that field code. And instead of merge field, we're gonna say merge barcode. And then we're gonna tell it what type of barcode we want, in this case a QR code. And so when you preview that and update it, now we get QR codes. How do you know what to type in here? You can go to the Microsoft support page, search for field code, merge barcode, and this will tell you what's valid. So you can do QR code, code 128, etc. But once you do, just memorize QR, and then once you do this, if you unpreview it, and you right click it, instead of going toggle barcodes, now you'll say it says edit barcode. So if you click that, you can actually come in here and see all the different barcode types. If we uncheck show all types, it's gonna look at what's in that field, the data that's in that field, and it's only gonna give us barcodes that are valid for what it sees. So for example, if we tried to make that a UPCE, it's gonna say the data length is not supported by that type. So unchecking this, will just get rid of all the invalid barcodes. Um, if you wanted this QR code, but for whatever reason you wanted it to match the uh, conference colors, and make it bigger, we can make it 120% and red. And maybe they, I don't know, for whatever reason, we need to print it sideways. You can also always rotate it. But there we go, there's a red one. And let's update the fields and preview the results. So just like that, you've got a red barcode or QR code in this case. If you scan it with your phone, uh, you're actually going to see that it's linking to www.myapp.com slash question mark ID equals 
L S K A D J X H F. So we're getting the valid data for Ed's profile. Along those lines, we can change this. Let's edit the barcode. Instead of that profile URL, we can do the company URL. And so now, if I scan that, it'll link to google.com, which is perfect. And if we again edit this barcode, and let's do the attendee ID as a code 39. And let's show the data Add, um, there. Perfect, just like that. So you'll have the number under the barcode. And you can scan that barcode and it'll pull up their competitor ID, for example. Or, and we could do e this either way. I'll show you both. Um, let's do, let's edit this field again. The validation string as a barcode and let's turn off the secret data so that nobody can see what it is. If you scan that, you're going to get Ed Trang slash California Deca slash their competitor ID number slash that three letter code. And then finally, we could also do that same thing as a QR code. QR codes don't have to link to websites. I mean, that's what everybody uses it for, but it can encode almost anything. So if we do that as a QR code, for example, perfect. Let's do that. There we go. There's a QR code that if we scan it, we get the information edtrang slash California Deca slash 32001 slash RAW. Update fields for everyone. And let's finish and merge that to an individual document and print it out. And you can see that as we go and scan each item, then we get the data that we want. Alrighty, and that concludes how to create either a barcode or QR code from a mail merge and why you might want to do that.